Um, okay, so this is the first time you meet my partner in business and in life. And, uh, you know, also for you to meet all the amazing people I've been just telling him about all of you and he's been witnessing uh, everything. And I just felt that I needed him to be here with me today. Uh, just tell him that this works. Actually, it's, it's amazing, guys, to be honest. And uh, this is very, very uh, phenomenal in terms of uh, marketing and the thing that you are doing. And to be honest, uh, I was uh, astonished without the whole thing that Reem told me about. And, uh, Jamie, and even the, 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 the strategy. The strategy, it works, guys. It works. And thank you so much. And congratulations, everyone. Woohoo! So, um, seriously, I'm so stressed out. So, you have to excuse me for being just uh, uh, stressed. And uh, I never got the chance to graduate like a real graduation. So this is the first time for me to um, be graduated for real from something. I, I got graduated from the university, but uh, to be in a ceremony like this, and it's a true honor. Um, Gina and uh, Jamie, thank you so much. Uh, literally, I'm super excited uh, to be with you. Uh, so yeah, um, my dear, family of the profit uh, podcast profit lab ppl um i was thinking literally today how can i help you and uh, the only way i thought by just sharing my story so that i would like inspire you and how i ended up in here and maybe it will be some sort of like a motivation that you might need and maybe you will find some lessons and how did this happen as sometimes I also wonder, I wonder myself, how did this happen? So uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Reem Kharbat. I'm a simple average girl from Jordan in the Middle East. Um, it's a very tiny country in there. And uh, I'm coming, I came from um, this small family. Uh, I'm the fourth of five siblings of a loving middle-class parents who made us feel rich when in fact uh, we were not very, you know, poor. And uh, I was raised, uh, you know, knowing that ethics and being an A student uh, were the only tickets for us to live a good life. I grew up and every day I would realize that it was getting tighter and tighter financially for both my parents. And they were both teachers, so, um, you know, I could feel that it wasn't easy for them. And I thought that if I study harder, um, then maybe I would just get a good job one day that would pay me high salary. And then accordingly, I will help support my family. And I had this deep responsibility inside me as a young girl uh, at a young age and thinking about others and dreaming about supporting them. But again, I was faced by the fact that as a girl in the Middle East, um, in a Middle Eastern society, I was faced by the fact that, um, you know, I should be thankful um, if I just got a job as an office clerk. And I was, I was conditioned to believe that I should not uh, dream big. So I had a lot of dreams and one of them was to travel to the US and I had no idea how, but I knew that uh, I will do it one day. And um, I wanted to go there to get my professional certificate. And I guess um, just to cut this uh, story short, I asked my dad and I told him I want to go to the US and he was like, what the hell are you talking about? First of all, we cannot afford it financially. And none of the girls in, in my family or in the society have done it before. Um, I was so obsessed by the idea of wanting to explore other options in life. And um, my dad saw how obsessed I am with that and how, I, how hard I worked to make my dream uh, come true. I was just telling everybody that I will travel to the US to get my degree. And, uh, he, you know, as a dad, he was like, he felt that he needed to do something for me and he took a loan. 
and he bought me the ticket and he sent me to the US and I was the first girl ever in the family in the surrounding society to be traveling to the US to get my degree and I did and the lesson from the first lesson uh, that I want to share with all of you today is here that you should never ever give up on your dreams no matter who you are where you come from no matter what are the resources that you have you just need to say it out loud to the universe and keep fighting and just remember that when you say it out loud regardless if you believe in god and superpower in the universe it the universe will respond to you and it will make your dreams come true fast forward 15 years i was a top notch executive and a group CFO for a multi-million dollar company, a telecom group. And I was a member of the board of directors. So I thought, you know, that I was untouchable. I made over six figures in uh, salary with similar amount of, you know, remuneration as a, a, a member of the board of directors until the day um, I gave birth to my little daughter, Miriam. Uh, my boss, he, <laughs> you remember. So actually it's one of it's my partner. Yeah, our third partner. Third partner. And uh, I received a text from my boss and he asked me to quit my job on the same day I gave birth. So um, I remember I was scared. I was angry. I felt defeated. I felt that, um, you know, I had this feeling of being a failure. And um, I took one decision. Uh, on that day that I would never go back to employment or building someone else's dream. And um, I didn't know how, but I knew that I would figure it out. Fast forward uh, five years, I own three businesses with my business partner and my life partner and the love of my life. We own three businesses. I got featured in Vogue magazine and top media. Uh, I live my life based on my terms and um, we do it in our terms and we are the boss of our lives and it wasn't easy and it, was, it wasn't it was an easy journey to be honest. We had so many ups and downs during that but uh, it was worth it. The lesson in here is that you shall never be identified uh, by the so-called failures or by what is written in your resume. Uh, you are capable of doing things, anything that you want in this life, only if you want it so bad. Um, the last story that I want to share with you is that on uh, November 2018, I received a shocking news of um, losing my best friend uh, for a car accident. And I was deeply shocked by that because he was, he was amazing. He was my best friend. He was young. He was recently engaged. And I remember I was uh, so shocked to the extent, I was so sad, grieving so hard. I was laying in bed, sleeping for weeks. And my husband, he was like all the time taking care of me, understanding the situation and taking care of our baby and our business. Um, and in January, I received another shocking news on Facebook that my mom passed away. I did not even have time to, to take a break or to grieve. I was like extremely tired and sad. And, but I knew from the doctor on that day as well, that I was pregnant with my second child. So I knew that when a life ends, there's a new life begins. And I was extremely happy by that, knowing that I can move on. But unfortunately, in April, uh, I knew that my baby had no pulse and that I lost um, my second child. And then I remember that um, I lost three of the most dear people to me in my life. Um, in less than six months, I was in a very uh, sad uh, state 
Um, and um, literally, I felt so uh, miserable. I felt that there is no reason for this life and why am I here? And I felt that I don't know what to do, literally. Like, I don't want to be just a number in this life. It's it's so easy to leave without doing anything, but I didn't understand or find an explanation to what I really was looking for. But I was just extremely sad until the day I heard Tony Robbins, Dean Graziosi talking about creating impact on people's lives and leaving a legacy. And then that struck me so deep. That was my breakthrough, knowing that this is what I want. I want, I don't want to be a number in this life. I want to create impact and I want to leave a legacy. And that, that gave me, I was like reborn again. That gave me hope. And on the same, I remember the same period of time, uh, this young um, man with this British accent, he grabbed my attention because he was talking about using this platform, podcasting, and it was new. We yeah, never yeah, knew yeah. about podcasting yeah. uh, in the Middle East. Like maybe there are some podcasts, but it was totally new. And I felt that this is what I was looking for. I want to be able to share my message with the world, no matter how or what I just want to do it. I was so I was so scared, but then I managed to join the PPL and um, my best friend, Serene, I hope that you're here listening. And if you're there, I want you to know that I miss you so much. I hope that you're well. She took me and she, she, she took care of me because I was freaking out. I, I missed so many classes and I didn't know if I would be able to launch on time. And um, coach Jackie, coach Craigie B and all the other amazing coaches, of course, Jamie and Gina, you guys made me feel that I found my tribe. Um, I was at home. I felt that I was with my real family and I felt literally, I felt that I was given the chance to live life again. Um, it wasn't, it wasn't, a, it never was about the money. It wasn't about success. It was about really being able to find your voice, sharing your message and really creating an impact. And again, not just being a number in this life. Um, all the amazing friends uh, that I had in this uh, amazing program. And uh, let me just name a few of them. Um, Jamie, of course, uh, Gina, Coach, uh, Craigie B, Jackie, and um, Donna, Serene, my best friend, James Johnson, and uh, Lori Lynn, you inspired me so much, and your masterclass literally helped me so much. Jamie Wolf, thank you so much for helping me in my trailer, and all the amazing people, Randall, for 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 make or for cheering me up, um, and everybody, James Johnson for being the brother uh, that I needed and for cheering for me, Lindsay, uh, everybody is honestly I can't just. Uh, say all the names, but um, guys, I managed to launch my podcast on December the 2nd and um, I hit the, how much, number 29 in the um, US uh, chart and number one in the Middle East. Remember, I'm in Saudi Arabia right now and I managed to do that. I interviewed Elena Cardone, yes, I, I just want to share this. I almost threw up on the day I did the interview with her. Thank God I did not, but uh, it was amazing. And I interviewed Randy Garn. He's the partner of Brandon Bouchard. I interviewed Dean Graziosi. We discussed so many opportunities even to work together. And uh, let me tell you guys, seriously, and that's why I even needed my husband here. Um, Jamie's strategy worked it really yeah. did. And um, that's why we um, started another podcast in Arabic for our SaaS, high ticket SaaS business. And let me tell you, just within the three, 
the first three weeks of the pandemic, and this is just what I shared, uh, we managed to achieve $97,000, over $97,000 um, in the first three weeks with that podcast, just making short, sweet interviews with CEOs. But let me tell you something, and this is brown, brand new. Yesterday, we closed an agreement with a new partner with over four million dollars, guys. So I, I need a new badge. Four million dollars, guys. And um, and that is just because of a twenty minutes interview. Uh, so trust me, it works. It really does. Again, it's not about the money. With the support of the PPL family, I managed to share my message, my story, and spread my voice all the way from Saudi Arabia, from the Middle East, all the way to the US and the rest of the world. Thank you, Jamie, for your generosity, for your brilliance, and for sharing your unlimited genius with all of your students. And from you, I literally, I learned so much, not only about podcasting and monetizing it, that was maybe just literally like the least, but I learned so much about business, marketing funnels mindset and how to create a positive culture within your team and the people that you work with. Thank you, Gina, for being the artist, the sweetest, the funniest and the most caring and most beautiful soul. And I cannot wait to see your baby podcasters, honestly. And thank you, my friend, Siren. You always lifted me up when I was down and when I was scared. Um, that I wouldn't finish on time, you would always do things and summarize things for me and help me um, to get things done. I miss you so much. And thank you, Jackie, for always putting a smile on our face and for caring so much for everyone. Thank you, Craigie B, for believing in me and for supporting me, for giving me the time to chat um, and to listen to me. I appreciate you and your giraffes. Yahoo! <laughs> Thank you, James Johnson, for being the friend and the brother, for the support and for caring so much. Lindsay, for always cheering for me. Lori Lynn, again, for the impactful masterclass that I have learned so much from and for being the inspiration to all of us and for your beautiful smile. And the list goes and on and on and on. And I want to thank each and every one of the PPL community. You guys rock. You are all superstars. You are the change makers. And I will never forget our time together. And I will always be grateful for you. Just remember, there is nothing called luck. As Robin Sharma says, luck is the marriage between preparation and opportunity. So seize the opportunity, create your own luck, decide to succeed and share your message and impact with the world. Be the hero of your own life and others. Do it now, because if not now, then when? Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was beautiful. Congratulations. That's so incredible. What's your husband's name? Did you say that? His name is Yahya, but if you want to call him uh, John in English, so he's John. <laughs> John, thank you so much for being here with, we love a it good really, power it couple. It really means a lot. It means a lot. That was such a such a beautiful speech and i love that trip down memory lane thank oh, you so much you guys thank you thank, thank you guys you i appreciate you, so you. Oh, thank you we can do it we are the change makers Woo oh my gosh four million dollars though holy yes. Moly. Yes. 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 Finally, finally. Wow. we're gonna wow. have to get you a new batch yeah right well, <laughs> yeah. well thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that was amazing reem thank you john thank you thank so you much guys. thank you